Hi ladies, so today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on this fun yet wearable colorful teal look. I wanted to do a colorful look but I wanted to do something that could actually be worn outside because I feel like a lot of times when I do colorful colorful stuff, it's not really anybody anything anybody normal <laughs> would wear outside. Like I really don't give a crap and I wear any makeup look outside. But I know a lot of people are a little bit more timid about venturing into color in their makeup. So I did something that was a little bit more wearable and the focus of the color is really just on the lid so it's not too over the top if you know what I mean. In this tutorial we are once again going to be using Makeup Geek Shadows because they're my favorite but this one's a little bit special because I'm going to be using one of the Makeup Geek foiled eyeshadows. This look is using Pegasus and then I also used a Makeup Geek glitter um, a little bit in the look too so that's pretty exciting some new stuff. I will warn you before the tutorial starts I had a little bit of trouble with my lips. I just got these new color pull ColourPop liquid lipsticks in the mail and it was my first time using them and there's like a crap ton of stuff on my lips just because I was having a little bit of trouble with them but basically focus on the eyes in this look and the skin whatever you want to do with your lips is up to you so let's hope that that lip shit show isn't gonna affect the makeup tutorial. Also I decided to put in my blue contacts for this look because it's a blue look and I thought it would complement it very well but obviously this look is for anybody with any eye color. You do you girl doesn't matter but I'm really digging these contacts so I wanted to put them in. Um, yeah I'm gonna stop rambling. I hope you ladies enjoy this video and let's just jump right into it. Hello baby dolls. So we're going to get started with this look on the eyes. I'm going to jump into Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek. This is like a very, very, very light orange shade and I'm going to take that on a E40 brush from Sigma and I'm going to buff it into my crease as a transition color. I'm going with more oranges rather than like orangey browns for the crease for this look. Because it is a colorful lid, I want it to be a little bit more on the colored side rather than like a warm neutral side if you know what I mean. So the next color I'm taking is Chickadee from Makeup Geek also and I'm going to put this on the crease with an E35 brush. It's a little bit darker than Peach Smoothie and it looks scary in the pan but I promise you if you buff it out and blend it out with a fluffy brush it will look perfect. So I'm just buffing that into the eye like I said and then I'm going to go in with Coco Bear which is a brown but it's going to kind of keep it neutral and keep it still looking wearable and nice and brown in the crease rather than straight up oranges. But the rest of the colors we're using are basically like colors. So we're going to buff this into the crease, focus most of the color on the outer corner with an E25 brush, but blend it into those other shades that we had going. Then I'm going to jump into Bitten and I'm going to take this on a more tapered brush with like pointed bristles at the end and I'm going to use this to, to really define the crease and build depth in the crease. So you want to focus the color on the outer corner and then drag a lot of the color into the crease too. You don't necessarily want to cut the crease, but you do want a lot of definition, so don't be afraid to take that red right up to the inner corner. But then I'm just going to go back in with the E35 and make sure everything is nice and blown out and blended in together and into each other so that it looks nice and wearable and neutral. Then I'm going to go in with Mocha on this kind of dome shadow brush and I'm going to pop this right on the outer corner. You don't want to take it any further than just that outer corner. We're only using this to deepen up the entire look and kind of deepen up the outer corner and make it, uh, I, I don't want to say a smoky eye, but kind of smoke out the outer corner to make that aqua blue look more natural and more, not natural, but more wearable when we do put it on the lid. Then I'm going to take an E25 and just blend those colors in together. And then I'm going to go back in with that same brush and Corrupt, which is a just straight matte black. I'm going to put that right on top of where we put Mocha, but a little bit less. I'm just doing this because I wanted it to be a little bit darker on that outer corner. Not necessarily black, but just kind of blacken up that brown that we put on the outer corner. And then I'm going to take that E25 again and just make sure that it's nice and blown out and blended because it is very dark. So you want to make sure it's nice and blended in. Then I'm going to take Mermaid Foiled Eyeshadow from Makeup Geek. Oh my god, this color gives gives me life like oh my god I needed to do a look solely based on this color I needed to so I'm just taking a flat shader brush and popping this all over the lid I'm sorry that it's out of focus but I was like 
really leaning into my mirror. <laughs> Tell me if you guys do that when you like are doing your eyeshadow. Are you like breaking your back leaning in your mirror? Because I definitely do. <laughs> so I'm just popping that on the lid and making sure it's a nice and precise kind of lid application. I don't want any of that color to go into the crease because it's so bright and it'll look really weird if it does go into those brown colors we have. But I'm taking kind of the tip of the brush and kind of blending it into the brown uh, like at the outer corner. Then this is a totally optional step, but I wanted it to be a little bit more glittery. So I just took um, New Year's Eve pigment or New Year's Eve glitter from Makeup Geek. And just on my finger, I just tapped on a little bit on top of it. And it gave it like a really nice gold iridescence. It wasn't something you noticed too much, but I really liked the effect that it gave. But you really don't even have to do that if you don't want to. Um, then I took Vanilla Bean and I just put this on my brow bone with this tiny little brush that is like my favorite brush for highlighting the brow bone. I think it's like the small smudger or something. I can't remember the name of it. But I'm just highlighting my brow bone with that. You can do a shimmery color if you want. But since we did that glitter on the lid, I wanted a matte one. Then off camera, I just went ahead and gave myself a winged liner and put on my lashes. And now for the face, we're going to start with the Photo Finish Primer Water from Smashbox and just spritz our whole face with that. But that is never really the only primer I use. I love it, but I can't use it as my only primer. So I went in with the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer and just put that all over my face. This stuff I've been like really digging all summer. I mean, I always love it, but in the summer time, I don't know. I've been liking it a little more. So I'm just blending that all over my face. Then I'm going to go in with my new love, the Born This Way Foundation from Too Faced. I've talked about it enough, I'm sure. And I'm just going to pop this on my skin and then blend it out with this um, Flat Top Kabuki from Beauty Junkies, which is a store on Amazon. They sent me this brush to try out, and I've really been liking it. So thank you, Beauty Junkies. I enjoy it. Um, but yeah, I'm just blending that out with the brush and then I'm going to jump into concealer and this is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I told you guys I've been loving this too in my favorites video and I'm just putting this under my eyes and all the highlighting places with a damp beauty blender. I basically just put it on the back of my hand and then dip my beauty blender in it and then like directly apply it to my face but yeah you guys know how to do concealer you watch it in every single video <laughs> and then I'm gonna do some baking with this transparent veil that I got in my boxycharm last month it's just like a really transparent loose powder and I'm just gonna put that on with a sponge and look like a cocoa because that's what we like to do am I right we like to look like a cocoa so that we have flawless skin after yep thumbs up for cocoas no just kidding don't do that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and bake I, under my eyes on the highlighting points of my face. And it's going to be a really nice, easy highlight. Then I'm going to go in with Hoola Bronzer from Benefit, something I haven't used in like, I feel like literally years. Um, and I'm going to take the Real Technique Sculpting Brush and just go ahead and bronze and contour with this while I'm letting my face bake. It is a little bit more difficult while your face is baking, but you can do it. I promise you can do it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and do that while I let that powder sit, set on my skin. And then I'm going to take a, any powder brush and just brush off all of that extra powder. This brush also came in the BoxyCharm. I freaking love BoxyCharm. They're awesome. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to dust all of that powder off. And I really liked this powder. It was nice and finely milled and looked gorgeous after I wiped it off on the skin. Um, then I'm going to go in with Makeup Geek's Romance Blush. It's a, an, it's a nice coral with like gold shimmer, which I thought would really complement the aqua blue on the eyes. It's very like summery and mermaidy, you know what I mean? So I just pop that on the cheeks. I make the ugliest blush face, faces, I swear. Um, and then after that, I went in with Champagne Pop Shimmering Skin Perfector because let's be real, what have I, what else have I used in the past month and a half? <laughs> One day I'll use another highlighter. It's, that day just isn't today. So get used to it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just highlighting my face with that. And then I'm going to go in with the All Nighter um, Eyeliner from Urban Decay. And I'm going to put this in my waterline, but really only halfway in my waterline. I don't want to go like the full way because I just want the outer corners to be dark. And then I'm going to take Corrupt um, from Makeup Geek again, this time on a flat definer brush. <laughs> sorry. And I'm going to just pre press that. Sorry over where I put the eyeliner. Um, I don't know why I just started coughing. But yeah, I'm just going to press that right over the eye eyeliner to kind of set it and then also smoke out the lower lash line a little bit more. And then I'm going to take Coco Bear on a pencil brush and just buff it right under where we put that black. And it's really going to smoke it out and kind of mimic the outer corner on the top lash line to the bottom lash line, if you know what I mean. 
So yeah, just keep buffing. That's the key to bottom lash line goodness, is to keep blending. So then I took an E25 and just blended those edges even more because you can never blend your lower lash line enough. And then I'm going to take Mermaid on that same flat shader brush we used again and just pop this on the inner third of the lower lash line. It's going to tie the whole eye together and it's just going to give you another little pop of color. If you don't want this on the lower lash line, you don't have to, but I thought it kind of, I don't know, made the eye look look a little bit more cohesive and like put together and then for my inner corner highlight I decided to do that New Year's Eve glitter again if you don't want something as sparkly you can just go ahead with vanilla bean but I wanted a little touch of sparkle on the inner corner so I just took it on this little concealer brush and popped it right in there I, I think I sprayed the brush with something but I can't remember <laughs> and then for lips oh my god this lip concoction is a mess but I started with Coco Loco Lip Liner from Jordana and just lined my lips with that. I kind of overdrew them because I've been, you know, trying to become Kylie Jenner the past few weeks. I don't know. I just want to be her. She's only 17 and I want to be a 17-year-old. She's so gorgeous. Okay, it's, this isn't about Kylie Jenner. <laughs> then I'm going to go in with this ColourPop um, Matte Liquid Lippy in the shade Shimmy and I'm going to put that right over. But after I put that on, I was like, this is way too pink for this look. So then I went in with Vice, and I put that on the center of the lip to kind of ombre it and make it a little bit more neutral, but they weren't really blending in together very well. Like, I love these things. I've been using them for the past week, and they're great on their own, but I don't recommend trying to mix two colors together, or at least I haven't gotten the hang of it, because this was just a shit show. And then because it was a shit show, I just took Maybelline's um, Nude Illusion Color Elixir Gloss, and I just popped that right on top to kind of fix the whole mess um but yeah after you do that you're basically done oh wait actually you're not done because I remembered that I forgot to put on mascara at all I didn't even put on mascara under my false lashes so I went in with the L'Oreal Miss Manga Voluminous Mascara and I just corrected that mistake but then after that then you're done Okay dolls, that's it for this makeup tutorial I hope you enjoyed it as always sorry for the lip concoction that's going on here. I really had no clue where I was going with it. I just wanted a nice nude lip and it didn't turn out the way I wanted it so then I just kept piling more shit on my lips. Whatever, you just put on your favorite nude lipstick and call it a day. That's all I can say. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know if you want me to do some more colorful looks or if you want me to use any other um, Makeup Geek foiled eyeshadow in any of my next tutorials and I will make sure to keep them in mind when I'm thinking of makeup ideas. I love you all so much. I hope you're having a wonderful week and I will talk to you next time. Bye.